and this is for a free way to remove the background in an image. Now, so in this case here, we have this lovely portrait. You can see that it has a fully transparent background. That wasn't always the case. Now you may know if you have used Canva that the free version does not have the remove background effect. Um, today I'm going to be using my free version to make sure that I'm not using only paid versions or paid features that exist. But you'll notice that the if you go into effects, background remover, that is only a pro feature. However, what's really interesting is a competitor to Canva has it for free. It's a free account that you can sign up for and then you're able to download and upload it. And I want to show you how to do just that. So it's super useful. So how to remove the background from an image for use in Canva. Let's go ahead and remove this and we'll take this step by step. So a competitor to Canva is Spark, Adobe Spark. So spark.adobe.com. You can sign up for a free account. They do have paid tiers. However, everything I show you today can be done on the free one. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our photo on this, create the transparent background. The It's actually quite remarkable how well it works. Then we'll download it, upload it, and be able to use it inside Canva. So let's get started there. We'll be able to find that same photo. Uh, what's really nice is much like Canva, it has access to a wide variety of photos, uh, all free to use. Uh, you can upload your own. So if you have a portrait of yourself that you want to remove the background, you can upload it without issue. But let's get started with what they have. We'll go to find free photos, photos here on the left side. So we went into, tell you what, actually it's step one quick back, one step back. You will sign up for Spark, again, a free account, not a problem, and choose whatever size. I think Instagram post is great as far as just a square one. So this will look somewhat familiar to Canva. So we're inside of Spark, we'll click on Instagram post. You can choose anyone here because we're only looking to get a photo, remove the background, download it, upload it. So great. So we're inside of this now. On the left side, again, very familiar to Canva, we'll choose photos. Um, you can choose to upload your profile photo, or we could search for free photos. So we see find free photos. Then I'm going to define that photo I was working with to show you. I'll go ahead and search for a portrait. Let's see. There we are. Now, if, when I first did it, I was fairly surprised that it worked because this is a fairly complex photo. If you look at the, all the strands of hair and the program did really well. Now the trick to this is that because it is the free version, you'll notice here on the right side, there's a little tag, a little watermark, Adobe Spark. You can't get rid of that using the free version, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you a trick how to bypass that for our purposes here. Now again, uh, if you're just using the free Canva, Adobe Spark would be a great alternative. It is a very nice piece of software too, worth checking out, but I digress. So get the photo about the size you want inside of here, we'll select it. And over here on the right side, you're going to see remove background beta. So they had just released this recently. And that's why I came across it. We'll go ahead and select that the computer is going to think for a little bit. And look at that. What's really impressive to me is like, especially if you see these complex hairs, right now, if you were a professional editor with Photoshop, everything else, you could probably improve it a bit. But the of its ability to take out these colors amongst this complicated hair is amazing. Like I was really, really impressed by that. So now let's check it out though. So as I mentioned, you'll notice again, you have the Adobe Spark watermark on the right side here. So what you want to do is inside, we have our frame from Instagram, just our 10 by 1080 by 1080. What you want to do is you want to place the photo on the left side of that watermark, right? So don't crop on the left side. There we have it. See, so nice. We centered around it. It is not behind the watermark. Now we'll go ahead and hit download PNG and start download. Now this pop up comes up and solid color as in it have a white background or transparent. So this is the difference because with uh, Canva, unless you have the paid one, you're not allowed to download transparent. So that's the one edge here we have with Spark, which is really exciting. So go ahead and download that and save as, just save that locally, off you go. Wonderful, now you hop back over to Canva. Now I've already uploaded it for us to show. So we'll go ahead and click it in, here we are. So here's that same photo. And again, you can see it's really impressive how well it actually worked, but of course you'll notice there's the watermark. That's not gonna look really good for our design, but if you've ever worked with a photo in Canva, as you might remember, if you select it, you'll see these little, dra these little oblique 
or rounded corner, uh, rounded squares on the sides. So again, you select the, drag the photo in, select it, grab this, and just crop out that Adobe Spark. There we have it, a transparent image for free, really high quality and surprisingly good um, version of it. Honestly, if I had to spend time, I have Photoshop, I, have, I know how to remove backgrounds as a professional designer. I don't know that I would spend the time compared to this result. I'm really impressed by that. But you can see by using these two free pieces of software in tandem, you'll be able to get this great result to remove the image from the background. So.